We are on kick.com. We are live, and by the time you see this, we won't be, so just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK, man. Uh, right above me, this is the live channel. If you miss it and you want to see the highlights, it'll be right here. Uh, we do got merch. Just wash mine today, so don't got it on right now. Don't forget we got the Patreon. You get me. Become a member if you want. And we got the uh, Discord. The links to that all below. Let's get into it, man. Can't pay, we'll take it away. Season 2, episode 10. How many episodes is in the season 2? God damn. Eh. Or oh, what was in that? I don't want to see this. Well, who's John Payne? Oh, wait a minute. Eviction special is crazy. I know we about to get ultimate attitudes in here, man. Rentaries are becoming the fastest growing debt problem in the UK. With the number of tenants forcibly evicted from their you homes every reaching a record high. 67,000 households in the UK are currently serving rent areas. The eviction so. situation is turning into an avalanche of evictions. The teams that I supervise do 25 a week. I think it's just going to get worse. It's it's just going to be an ongoing problem and get bigger. Paul Bowhill, Steve Pinner and Ben Pinner are High Court enforcement agents. In this eviction special, we'll follow them as they carry out four very different... I didn't even know they had specials on this show. ...possessions. <coughs> it's 8.30 a.m. And today they're in Guildford, Surrey, with a High Court writ to evict a tenant who hasn't paid his rent for 18 months. You gotta remember, man. Come, come, come at this from a business standpoint. You know what I'm saying? Come at this from a business standpoint. You open up an LLC or whatever it's called in the UK, right? Whatever it's called, and you're trying to get residual income. You run the paperwork behind your tenants, and they stop paying rent. Keep in mind, you're a business now. You're not an individual. So let's take morals. And, and all of that and emotions out of it. As a business, I'm paying that. So you're in my you're in my thing, you're in my unit, I'm paying the mortgage on it, and you're not paying any rent. So this is coming out of my money and you living for free. Like at, from a business standpoint, I get it. Like y'all gotta get up out of here. Like as much as I wanna be on these people's side, like I need my money. I need my money. I try to set up my life in such a way where I get money residually for free, essentially. And this is the outcome? No. Hey. Salute for the What's going on, y'all? The landlord wants the tenant out. And it is wrong. And that he could be violent. The police are on hand, just in case. Whoever's in the flat obviously doesn't want to move out. Yeah, they jump it right into There's it. There's been some suggestion he might disapprove of our coming today, so we're going to wait and see. But this is an eviction with a twist. The landlord is the tenant's mother. Ain't no way. Ain't no. F <laughs> hey, dog. I said all of that. And this is how they play me like this? I'm on y'all's side. And this is what y'all do to me after I done talked like this. I talked y'all up just now. So everything I just said is null and void all of a sudden. You evicting your OG? Your mom? You came out of her. Your flesh is her fl You bogus. You going to hell, buddy. <laughs> you going to hell. <laughs> Well, 
the windows are screwed shut. Take it just It's always wise, knock on the door oh, and you step need to, to the side. Us. If there's somebody in there with a shotgun, it'll come straight through the door. When it's family involved, it's never easy. You would never want to think that you're going to have to take enforcement action against a close family member. It's probably not a very easy decision you have to make. And to be honest, it's not a situation I'd like to be put in. If he's not here, we'll repossess the place and then we'll see if we can find a contact telephone number for him. Their writ allows the agents to enter the premises by... So wait, 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 wait. Is the, is the landlord the mom or is the tenant the mom? Force, if necessary. If the tenant, if the landlord is mom, okay, cool. Your ki kids don't live for free, never. It's time to pay up, buddy. I'm doing a good thing. You're probably getting a discounted rent. Pay up. <laughs> Hello? 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 That's all right, Ilyari, isn't it? Hello? Nobody. Okay, the landlord is the mom. I would say he's gone to work. Yeah. Come on, I'm going to call It's an alarm clock. The court papers are on the table. There might be an open phone bill somewhere. Oh, yeah. My name's Steve Pinner. I'm High Court Enforcement. Just to let you know that uh, we have a writ to repossess the property today. Today, on, on, on the 25th. Yeah, well, unfortunately, that's to do with the county court. The matter has been raised to the high court, so we're now standing in your front room. You're kidding me. Why would I do that? I'm not. Get one stuff out, mate. Okay, well, pop home and we'll have a chat. I'm in London. It's going to take me an hour to get home. We'll hang on for you, but don't be too long. Thank you. Alright, I'll be as good as you can. Good lad. Okay, this, this seems to be going as smooth as possible. The tenant sounds cooperative. McVetty's digestives. Decide to withdraw. Lovely, thank you very much. All the best. Hey, yo, yo. C come back in one hour. This could all be a poker face. His mother had bought the flat specifically for him because he'd had a difficult upbringing and only wanted £100 a week rent from him. Eventually, he stopped paying them. Absolutely. Get the, get the F out. I'm trying to make up for your childhood. I'm only... A hundred a month? How do you jag that? How do you... How, how can you not pay a hundred a month? You, you got to go. I, I don't have no sympathy. I had sympathy. I thought it was the mom that was getting evicted. Okay, but you're the son. You're family. But now you're just, you're taking the P-I-S-S. Like, y'all see, I'm starting to use y'all lingo, right? Yeah, like, you got to go. The rent, but his mother was still paying the mortgage. The tenant's mother That's is too saying. upset to risk meeting her son. Her parents have arrived instead to collect new keys to the property. There's obviously a background to this. Her it's parents? It all comes ahead. He hasn't paid rent for 18 months now. You owe them $1,800. That's one month of rent rent hey. anywhere else. What's going on, y'all? Salute for the follow. I appreciate you. You know, she just cannot afford paying out on her own. She's a widow. She's paid insurance for him and all sorts of we just pay out all the time and he's just taking oh advantage it's a hundred a week still that's four hundred dollars for rent for this apart like this like th did y'all see the neighborhood that they walked up in like it was nice really unbelievable she's had she's had a hard time she brought the three children up but he's been troubled since he was a teenager. She's crying down the phone, literally because of it. And she appreciates you, Bila. But she had to. Thanks. 
I mean, YouTube doing its job, pushing my channel out again, man. I, it feels good to not be, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Shadow banned anymore, man. He, he's very upset as well. We all But um, he just, it just got to end. Um. Stephen Paul are worried that the tenant may react badly to seeing so many people. So they decide to leave Steve on his own. He's going to go out the stuff. I'll look after the house. I'll see you in a minute. Bye. I couldn't do that. I never leave my homies. <laughs> I don't care if it's a work situation. Like, you can't stay alone. I don't care. I don't care. He might be upset. Let him a be upset. A potentially difficult Jeez. tenant is now on his way. Steve waits. Alone. Is that a toilet? Yeah. You mean to tell me we've been... I do not care about what you're talking I've seen that commercial too many times. That's him? This looks like it could be him. Steve lets Paul and Ben know that the tenant has arrived. Good morning. Good morning. That's an aggressive walk. Right, okay. Could you be... Yeah. Right. I'll so be discreet with me. Okay, just let's get our bit sorted first. You've seen the county court warrant, it's on your table. Yeah. It went through well, the yeah, county. Wait, 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 yeah, but why, why high court's getting involved? Well, this is my mum, this is my mum's property, yeah? My mum's done this to me. My mm -hmm. mother. Well, unfortunately, we don't know any of the background. We get your name, her name, and our piece of paper. So, I understand your position that you're not She happy. shouldn't even have my dad's name. She hates me. She hates me because I remind her. I remind her of him. I understand you got some childhood trauma, but your mom bought you a crib and made you pay a hundred a week. She's trying. You took advantage. You gotta go. Ain't no option. That's good, George. Appreciate you. Remember, hit that heart. Unfortunately, it's a family follow. dispute. You know, you can fall out with your friends. So. You know, you can fall out of your family just as easy. I'm, I was a recovering drug addict, drug addict, yeah? My mum and me didn't get on because of that. Then she started filing for eviction. I said, fair enough, go ahead, because it will help me get in a place on the council, yeah? And then I said, I don't want that now. I want to start paying rent again. And she said, I don't want your money, I just want you out of the flat. She's chucking me out on the streets, do you know what I mean? I'm not going on the streets, I've got somewhere to go, but... It's a good ass. She said, go and sleep in your van. It's nice, isn't it? She was trying to open, she, from what it sounded like, you had a plan. You was going to get good money from the council. And cool. You know, when you're an addict and a recovering addict, that's a seesaw. That's a lot to deal with. Like, one day you're going to pay, one day you, you might get, you might backslide and go back to doing what you was doing. Like, it's nice, isn't it? My own mum saying, you can go and sleep in your van, wouldn't you? The tenant's mother told the team her son never offered to pay the rent owing and that evicting him was her only choice. She denies she ever told him to live in a van. Obviously, we don't know what, we, what we're liable to turn up to when we knock on someone's door. No, of course. Yeah. When the tenant turns up, we're normally in their property. First five minutes, they come up, usually shouting and roaring, what are you doing in my house? You can't do this, do that. That's we good, try and explain to them in a quiet voice to enable us to get some dialogue between us. What's the average rent in the UK? One bedroom, one bedroom, one bath, 1,000 square feet or something like that. What's the average rent? Nine times out of ten, after five minutes, we're talking quite civilly. I haven't touched drugs for over a year. 
Over here. I've got a good girlfriend. Good Give me girl. a number. You know what I mean? But his rent arrears are only part of a much greater problem. I'm in a lot of debt, to be honest, because of the... Because of the... Like, my teenage years. Because they throw money at you. Do you know what I mean? Turn 18, any 18-year-old kid, they go, there's a credit card, loans, do what you like. And I was just too immature to sort of handle it. I didn't get that treatment. Well, what do you expect? I didn't have a dad around, do you know what I mean? Did what I liked. Did what I, do you know what I mean? Just had a laugh. My mum didn't like it. Before you know it, you're in 20 grand's worth of debt, like me. He says that he's trying to pay back some of the money through an IVA, an individual voluntary around. I paid, I paid 19.50 for a one bedroom. Arrangement. When you finished your packing, I have been involved in insolvency and IVAs for years. Yeah. I can probably give you the short version of the way forward. Yeah. yeah. It's two hours since the... Literally disgusting what I pay. I'm, I'm, I'm moving next month. So... <laughs> cutting that in half, this is too much for me. I was like, nah, y'all got me bent. First arrived. Uh, screen side down. Uh, up, I mean. Yeah. Down. And the tenant's van is now full. He needs therapy. Him and his mom need to go to therapy together. Because the gentleman's getting as much as he can together. He's only got a very small van. Unfortunately, an arrangement's got to be made for someone to come back and collect the rest of the stuff. Despite the initial warnings of potential trouble, the eviction has gone smoothly. This is Paul's. Paul's card, okay? Yep. So I'll put that with your other paperwork. Yeah, just, uh, That's his mobile number on there. You know, push comes to shove and you need to talk to us. Yeah. It's play. crazy because I have a family member that acts just like this guy. As far as like, you know. And, and the defendant are both family members. It makes our job a little bit more complicated. You'd like to think that families could resolve their situations out of court, but that doesn't happen. Right, you ready to go? Yeah, I'm on. Before you commit to any insolvency situations, get all this out of the way, get your head clear, and ring me. I'll always call you back so you don't have to yeah, worry about no. paying for the call. Right, I'll talk you through it. I've got. 30 years experience in dealing with that. The good guy, right. man. And if you, want, if you want to get rid of your dog, ring me. Because I'll have him. I'll have him. Take care. You trying to get a free dog about <laughs> Good guy. I expect nothing less from Paul and Steve. Increasing housing costs are pushing more and more families into debt. Nearly eight and a half thousand families with children were made homeless in England during Damn, the first quarter sleepy. of 2014. It's 23, y'all. Over one in... It's early afternoon, and Paul and Steve are on their way to Thornton Heath, South London to carry out a complicated eviction. Guaranteed is gonna start getting worse. That was, that was, that was like rookie. If you're playing FIFA, that's rookie. Uh -huh. Or that's whatever the level the is, wheels, isn't it? entry level. Yeah. Three up and two down. A number of separate families live in the property, but the landlord wants to refurbish. He's been through the county court and given them notice to end their tenancies. Oh! What are you expecting us? Some residents have already moved out, but two sets of tenants remain. Now the landlord has been to the high court. You saying it's like $2,000 annually? For car insurance, for new drivers? 
So like 166 a month? To have them evicted today. The High Court Enforcement Agents, we have an eviction order uh, yeah. for three rooms here, but yours is one of them. Yeah. So our procedure is that we allow you an hour to get your things together so that you have to move out. If you need to come back to get the rest of your stuff, you'll have to make an arrangement with the landlord. You have to leave today. We spoke with the solicitor, which uh, they said we need to we need to give in two months. Well, this is dated the 29th of September, and this is a high court writ of possession. So whoever told you that either didn't know the truth or they were lying to you. Is there anybody else likely to be here? Uh, this, uh, this one? I got this from the address. Thank you, we need to ring him, yeah. Paul and Steve are anxious to find out if anyone else will be affected by the eviction today. Do you have an apartment there as well? Yeah, it's my wife. All yeah. right. We have a letter for you as well. Yeah. Have you got children? Nine times out of ten, if it's a multi-occupancy house, there's always children involved. You know what's crazy? They have they do this a lot in Florida, and I didn't know nothing about this until I came to Florida. Like, there's multi-occupancy houses. Like, even when I was looking for an apartment, they had, like, apartments, like condos with multiple people in it. And I was like, dang, this is cheap. But then I read it, I was like, huh? Bedroom? What is going on here? I'm grown. I want my own. I got a dog. I could never do this. I mean, I get it. Like, it is what it is, but like, uh, not me. There was two little ones, and the lady was pregnant, expecting another. And it's it's so difficult because you still got to do your job. You would probably qualify for emergency housing from the council. Yeah, because we've got a problem with the immigration. So, is there a query over your immigration status? Yeah, because, um, I didn't do the English test, so I'm not allowed to work at home. With two young children, Paul is concerned that this family may be at risk of being out on the streets with nowhere to go. They need to go to the council for help. You need to get your stuff together within an hour. The council don't help if you're not fully, like, done with all the paperwork for immigration, right? They're not even going to lend a helping hand, right? All right. Have you, have you got a car? No. How far away is the council office? You need to go, I'll stop with it or not. Only the emergency you? stuff to tide you over for a few days. But we have a son. So we have your son coming from school, and then it's a descending car. Damn! Yeah. Where are we going to He's going to a special that? school. They have to bring him back here. Yes. I don't know where we're going to go. Well, can one of you go down the council and the other one wait here for him to come back? What time do you children get back? Three o'clock? Four. They're four, 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 yeah. six, yes. It's now two o'clock. Paul knows that if they both wait in for their son, they won't make it to the council's housing office before it closes. We need to start packing. One of you needs to go down to the council office. That's probably you, wouldn't it? Have you even got a social worker or anything? No, no. The it's landlord's agent good. turns up to check on the eviction. I came here two months ago. I told you the situation. How long have you known you've been evicted? Almost four months now. You know. You have yeah. two options, yeah? Yeah. I He's not making it any better. He's in here escalating it. I think you, you go move out voluntarily, yeah. or they have to kick you out. No, no, I spoke to them yeah. because I got handicapped boy. That's why. I understand it. I sympathise with your situation, yeah. but you've known for long enough. Just, I just want to make one thing crystal clear to you guys, yeah? So it's all clear. This guy has known from the last four months. No, it's okay. Yeah, he knows. No yeah, he's not eligible for any government support or anything. Sort them all. Sort them all. Pardon? Sort them all. Okay. Why are you saying about They're not that? eligible for any support. Okay. They, so will what to, they will have to house the children. Fine. Okay. 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 See ya. Man, just go outside. You came in and made it worse. What country are you from there? Nigeria. Nigeria? Yeah. What brought you over here then? Hey. What What were the circumstances uh, that brought you over here? Uh, the study. The study. Another hole in the system. 
He's come here on a student visa, been here for five years. He's finished his courses, his visa's run out, and he's now appealing to stay. During the period of the appeal, he's not entitled to any financial support from the government. He's left now in the situation, he's got two young children, so the council have got an obligation to house the children and to pay for the children's roof over their head, but not for the mother or the father. But he doesn't seem to want to get his arse into gear and get down to the council office. Yeah, yeah, the kids were born there. He's been there five years, he got some small kids. They're, they're, they're not, they're, they're citizens. They gotta do it for the kids. He probably just don't know how to good, go down to the office and express that verbally, you know what I'm saying? He's just taking his rent and the council will do nothing for him. He's known about this for months, but he's still here. So the landlord's come to the end of the road. He wants to do a refurb on the house. It needs it. It's sad, really, isn't it? Paul tries contacting a charity for homeless people to see if they can help the family. The second remaining tenant arrives to clear out his room. The situation is, yeah. the officer there is a high court agent, However, if you have a six and we have a repossession order for your room. You said the parents will get deported, the kids will stay, that's tough. The landlord cannot evict you personally, only the court bailiffs can do this. Very cramped for the family. But they got two litlands in room three. Two litlands. So, yeah, it's not, not an ideal situation. Press star to return to the information menu. Press star. If you need additional. It's now half past three. Paul's had no luck trying to find the family help from a homeless charity. Uh, sat listening to it for ten minutes, and he just went back to the menu. He's zero, Paul. He's OK. Look, he's got a BMW. Yeah, he's fine. The tenant with the BMW <coughs> has somewhere else to go. Paydays today. I even called a new landlord today so I can move my stuff tonight. So Where are you from originally? Congo. But I was Very born in different. France. All oh, right. I'm French. So you're actually entitled to be here and all the things that go with it? I work. I'm a manager That's for right. a company. All oh, right. The family are not so fortunate. They have no home and nowhere to stay tonight. That's messed up. Yeah, that's kind of sad for them because it seems like right now they don't have nowhere to go because it seems like I can see the bailiff just changed all the locker, but they're still stuck in there. Yeah, hopefully they'll find some solution for them. Finger crossed. Bro, not worried. He riding clean. The family now have just one hour left to go to the council's housing office before it closes. If they don't, they will be homeless tonight. Detect. You better go ahead, get down there, man. Whatever the repercussions may be, you gotta go. You gotta go see about your kids at least, minimum. You need to be at the council, that's the important thing now. Unless you've got somewhere to no, stay tonight. Yeah, I, got, I got what you're saying. What, what I'm, uh, you say you give me the number of those. I've tried, it's a waste of time. It's just okay. a telephone answering service. Okay, okay. Um, because you say you give us three hours, I'm just pleading, you know. Because of my son is coming as well. Yeah, okay. But okay. well, we've got to be out oh, yeah, by five yeah. o'clock. I've said, have you been in touch with the council? He said his wife's rung the council, but they don't want to know. But we know from previous experience, if they turn up on the doorstep with the paperwork, they'll have to do something for the kids. He doesn't know where he's going to stay tonight, but they've had two and a half hours now to actually get their head around the problem. And they haven't, so... Me, personally, I would have went to the council. Like, this is their job. They, they're they nothing... Paul Paul and Steve are nothing but, you know, helpful. They're, they're, they're on your... They're not on your side, but they're helping you. I would have went around to the council. They're not going to lead you wrong. They've been doing this for 20-odd years. You know what I'm saying? You see the outfits? They clean. 
They do this. There's only so much we can do. We've done everything we can. I was a bit disappointed with the response from the charity. They must be overwhelmed as well. It's now gone four o'clock. The family's son has returned from school. They are running out of time to get to the council before the housing office closes. Can we still come back to Papa this later? Not today, you can't, because yeah, I've got to go somewhere else. You, 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 you ring me Because we still have some. <laughs> no, no, I do understand. The toys, yeah. everything is understand. Here. We've called the cab, actually. OK. All right. There's a taxi on his way for them. To take them to the council? Somewhere to go. Yeah, let's go. I said, how have you been living there? What have you had as a means of support? And she said her church has supported her, but they didn't want to call them now, like in the emergency situation, because she felt it would be taking advantage of them. Can't take advantage of God. No, we just go to the states over there. Okay. The church is doing it in the name where. of God, so you can't take advantage of it. Friend or family? Maybe family. I think couldn't get to the phone. To your family? Yeah, we couldn't get to there. So where'd you go now? Uh, we just left yeah, because they asked us to leave this place, so we can't stay here. Yeah. So where, where is he going? Uh, he's taking us to the hospital. What? Hospital? Uh, yeah. For, for your son or why the no, hospital? No, no, just because at least we can stay there in the reception area or something. You're going to wait in the waiting yeah, area yeah, yeah. at the hospital yeah. until you get through to your friends? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yo. I'm sitting here thinking like, have I ever seen somebody do that? Just be in the hospital waiting room? And like, I'm thinking like, yeah, I might have. Cause I, I remember one time I went to the hospital and somebody was there. They were sitting there. He, he kind of looked homeless, but uh, you know, it might've just been, you know, his, his drip, his vibe. I had to wait for an hour to get it, get in. I got in. I came out and Buddy was still waiting there. I was like, and I was in for like two hours. I was like, hmm, he must be waiting on somebody. But he ain't look like he, man, that's wild. Waiting in the hospital room reception area is crazy. The hospital are not gonna throw him out, are they? Nah. No way of living there, is it? Try to get his wife admitted. I would have taken them down to the council offices, but they've chosen not to. So we just fall into the category. If people can't help themselves, have we got the right to intervene? You know, we need a social worker on the team, really, don't we? To make our systems work. But we can't do that. Finding somewhere Case number three. to live is getting harder and harder, according to new figures. Rents are rising faster than incomes, with an 8.2% hike across the UK in the last year. Average rent for new tenants in London reached a record 1460 cents per month. 1466 dang, 1500 in 2014? That, I'm not gonna lie, that's expensive for 2014. Paul and Steve are on their way to evict a tenant in Coolsdon, Surrey. His lease has expired and the landlord has gone to the High Court to get him out. The problem is, oh. this isn't the first time Paul and Steve have been here. Last time, the tenant refused to budge. My agreement's for a year. So if you want to go to court, which I'd love to go to court... You can yeah. go from here down to your solicitor and deal with all that, but you're going to be doing it from the other side of the door. And 
worse still, there was a clerical error on the paperwork, which prevented the agents from repossessing the flat. OK, withdraw. Withdraw, Steve. Today, Paul... Ain't no clerical aid, ain't no issues this and time. Steve are back. But they suspect that visit number two will be even more difficult because they've been told the tenant has a history of mental illness and may be vulnerable. If we turn up to an eviction and the tenant uh, is showing immediate signs of distress, we will try to talk to them to assess the extent of their vulnerability. The man did show signs of stress and we did make a judgment that he was genuinely a vulnerable person, that if he was pushed, he could become very violent. We tried to organise the police to be here, but uh, they were delayed. We're now on our way regardless, so if more breaks out, they said they'll come. The tenant has reached the end of his six months' tenancy. This one here. But claims he has a 12-month agreement. It's not the landlord, is it? There's a black guy in the doorway here. Paul and Steve's writ entitles them to evict the tenant today change the locks and hand the property back to its owner. Today. Holmes. Answer. The agents have also asked family and friends for assistance. One family friend, a church minister, is already there. He's trying to negotiate a peaceful exit, but the tenant is refusing him entry. I'm a minister of religion, I'm trying to get a copy There's no point in talking about Dr. Sullivan. And I, I need it for this guy. We, we've tried, yeah. but nobody will listen to us. And you know, I'm, just, I'm just here thinking, is this government going to wake up when, this, when he does something crazy? Unfortunately, it is, is going to happen today. Yeah. It's not a laughing matter. We need to do it as peacefully and as calmly and as... It's going to be difficult, I know. OK, give us a few minutes. Steve calls for police backup. Yes, I want... That's true. But if you can, I placed a call this morning. Um, well, we've arrived... Yeah, living in a... What is it? What do y'all call them out there? Council estates or on the block, he say? Well, I'm going to just put it up. I don't want to chat. Yeah, <laughs> simple as that. ...to the property. The gentleman we come in to see is very agitated. Uh, he has a religious minister with him, who is a family friend, and he tells us that he is very dangerous today. He's possibly psychotic, this guy, and I don't want to be at the wrong end of it. My bad. First schools of thought when, you're, when you go to a job and you, and you feel, through experience, that there is a possibility that the tenant could be vulnerable, medication or whatever. So, first thing is safety for yourselves and for them. You just don't know what can happen. While they wait for the police, the church minister has been trying to reason with the tenant. All I'm getting is abuse. Yeah. He's just slammed the door and he's carrying on. I've just called his mom. He's not in his right, man, and he needs help. Is he on medication? He's, he's supposed to be he's under the psychiatrist, but I don't know if he's turning up for his appointment. I don't think he is, personally. The tenant's mother now arrives. My name's Steve. Hi, Steve. I called the police earlier because of your son's uh, way it was last week. There is a very good possibility that they will take him out in handcuffs. Otherwise, what would if he If he walks out, then that's great. I don't want to see him being dragged, kicking Not and scraping. Ball, no, we have to get him out today. Can I speak to you for Yes, you can. Yeah. Sorry. No, that's, that's okay. The agents are hoping that the tenant's mother... I'm sorry. Is this Cartier bracelet on his on his wrist? You see his wrist right here? Right here where I'm looking at? Is that a Cartier bracelet? Or whatever the bracelet is? The ones that you gotta use the screwdriver to get up? You getting money. Otherwise, what if he if he walks out, then that's great. I don't wanna see him being dragged, kicking and scraping. No, we have to get him out today. Yes, you can. Yeah. Sorry. No, that's, that's okay. The agents are hoping that the tenant's mother will be able to get through to her son. I've got to listen for once. Yeah. Listen to what you're saying. The very real concern is just going to go off big time. How many times have I listened to I'm you? I'm going to walk away from you now. 
That's what you ever done. That's what you ever have done. We can't afford to underestimate the potential to this situation. He could assault his mother, he could hold her hostage. You know, it just could go horribly wrong. I can't function like that. When you're not listening, the ones that they're coming in now to take you out, they're trying to sort it out. The minister and the tenant's mother's attempt to try and get him to leave Nothing. hasn't worked. He maintains that he has a valid 12-month contract. He pursues them downstairs to continue the debate. What is the basis for the eviction? So you, you, you're an owner, you're a bad boy tenant ownership. Ask them that question. You didn't want to ask them a simple question. The court has given them instructions. No, no, shut up. You don't know. What was the reason for the eviction? And we have a warrant from the High Court which gives us permission to repossess his property. Yeah, that's fine. That's all that's we need it. to know. Yeah. So, so I paid a rolling contract yeah. based on what choices have asked me for on that property. Well, uh, well so, so, so why, first, so why did it go to court? You are asking the wrong person. 20 minutes later, police the there. police finally arrive. It's no, no, stop, stop tenancy. talking. Stop the talking. End of tenancy, yeah? So my agreement says 12 months. So how can it be the end of tenancy? Stop talking. Okay. The end so of tenancy. Shout, buddy. No, 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 because I'm getting... Are you asking the tenant or, you ask, or, you, or should I shut my mouth? Is everyone going to talk for me or do you want to listen? Do you want to listen? Well, maybe we have to listen to you at another, another okay. location. Okay. Shut up. When the police arrived, we explained the situation to him. They went up to see him, and unfortunately, everybody was getting to the end of their tether. Not nastily, but they was all becoming drained by the to and fro of the conversation. Steve and the police make one last attempt to get the tenant to leave peacefully. I don't think it's going peacefully, man. I ain't see no shimmer of hope at all until this point. Um, all I've heard is sh are shut-ups. Um, let me talk, uh, listen, uh, you might be going to jail, buddy. And the judge has decided that yeah. they have legal right to have you out of the property and reclaim it. Yeah, I get that. So yeah. that would be a court hearing. There and has been a court hearing. Okay, so, and who attended? The magistrate. Four hours after the agent's arrival, the tenant finally agrees to leave. Oh, my bad. I spoke too soon. Yours. The tenant's mother is unable to cope with him back at home. He must now arrange to remove his belongings and find a place to live. The locks are being changed, but the tenant is clearly vulnerable and is now on his own. Hey. What's going on, yo? Hello, he Dad. needs some Appreciate support. You. I'm going to give you my phone number. Yeah, that's it. Right, listen, yeah. if you stress me on the phone, Come I'm going to... No, listen. I don't stress you. Know, you know I like you. If you stress me on it, I'm going to block your number, and that'll be the end of it. Do you understand me? Uncle Steve... Do you yes, understand yes, me? Yes, yes, remember, they stole my phone. They think I don't was... care. I do you do... understand me? I know you can sort this all out. You've got it in here to be able to do it. Steve I... being stern. Sometimes you got to set boundaries like that. I feel you, bro. Seek help, all right? Come on now, you're much better than this. Come on now. I know you're tired, I know you're tired, but you need to do this for yourself. Not for anybody else. You just need to do this for yourself. But, but look what I lost. I lost three hours and homeless, you got robbed. Okay, I'm supposed to be like a good person. You are a good person. You can do this, all right? I lost my house, I'm hot down. Then arrived and took his phone, he's homeless. Like, yeah, house is homeless. You, got... you need to sit in your car. Do this, all right? Just have a little bit of confidence. You need to sit in your car and get that, get off to the council. Yeah. Paul, Paul, problem, Steve. Paul and Steve make this show what it is. If this was the other two dudes, the two bald head, bigger dudes, they would have probably had to fight, dude. Okay? But you have to be out of here. Take care, sir. I will Good talk looking. to you. I know that all too well. This this case for me was immensely draining. I Four said hours is says, too much. I don't know matter whatever happens next. I need to go and have a cup of tea because I'm just absolutely shattered. I'm not medically trained. I'm not. I can talk to people, but obviously my knowledge of it of what condition he had is next to nothing. So I can only talk him as a one-on-one -on -one adult 
and try and get the bits across to him. And it was, it was really, really draining. Just watching it, I couldn't even really pinpoint that he had a condition, really. Maybe like he's a narcissist a little bit, like I didn't really, you know what I mean? The Money Advice Trust has said the UK is in danger of falling into a yeah, rent definitely. debt crisis. The number of tenants falling behind with rent payments has more than doubled over the past six years. Forty-seven thousand two hundred and twenty court claims to repossess properties were made by landlords in the first quarter of two thousand. Damn, in the first quarter. It's just before eleven a.m. in Brixton, South London. High Court enforcement agents Paul Bowhill and Steve Pinner have a High Court writ to evict a man from a flat which is being divided up into a number of separate rented rooms. Oh, it's this again. Knock, knock. Oh, stinks. The flat has been sold, and the new owner wants to refurbish. The tenant who they're evicting today has been fighting to stay and hasn't paid any rent for over a year. Apparently, he's been there for years. By all accounts, he won't be happy, so we're just sticking around to make sure that everything goes okay. It smells. That's the smell. There's a pile of socks down there. All the other tenants have agreed to move out. Building work has started. The tenant's bathroom has already gone. Yeah, nah, for sure. They they be outside. <laughs> Paul and Steve be outside with it. They be going to places that other people do not go. This is it. Because the shower, the shower's unit is on the wall there. Ah, oh, look in the corner. Shower unit. Shower unit. Slide round. Shower unit's obviously there. You just stack pipe out the back. As far as HSC is concerned, those doors should be closed. Surprising stuff. The very other half lives, is this? The problem that I see here is it's not, uh, it doesn't comply with the regulations which apply to houses in multiple occupation. So they're having to do all this extra work now to make sure that they do. And then they can officially let it off as sort of 10 rooms and get £60 a room a week, at least. An upstairs neighbour comes down to give his thoughts on why the tenant is fighting eviction. He's got all sorts of claims and things, he thinks. Because he's, 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 he's been here a year dragging things out and doing all sorts we're of the, stuff. We're the ultimate force. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Would you like to talk to the uh, residents? Not particularly. I just thought it was fair to let him know. The neighbour has managed to get hold of the tenant who is being evicted. Hello. There's only six minutes left I'm now. Paul I'm a High Court enforcement agent, and I have a writ of possession for these premises. Mm. That's all right. This this warrant this warrant has now been the eviction is complete, so there's no going back. But if you if you're on your way here, that's okay. See you when you get here. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Paul has agreed to wait one hour for the tenant to come and collect his belongings. Bro, all this waiting? Like, I okay, maybe it's because I'm not, I'm not actually doing the job. I'm not actually clocked in. But, like, I, I don't know about all, all this waiting and I'm working on commission to be other places. Like, nah. Bro, he said he's just been to the high court. He's got this. Your stuff is outside. I'm a high court agent. I can do that. I'm going to holla at you. That's what you're asking. Good luck. After a year of fighting to stay in his room, Stephen Paul think the tenant may react badly when he arrives. That's him? Okay, my colleague here is a High Court enforcement agent. Yes. Uh, this is a High Court writ. Yes. 
We have repossessed your property now. Yes, I understand that. You know, I actually uh, filing um, an application, you know, against this eviction, which was filed on the 25th. Uh, if you spare me for a second, you know, I'll come back to court and find out exactly what's going on with my application. Is that with the yes. county court? Uh, yes, that was uh, uh, on the county court. This is the high court. Hello. Yes. Um, could I possibly just All make right, a phone call for a second? I was going David to move my pins out anyway because pressure. I cannot live in this mess, you know, honestly. Yeah. Okay. But I need at least some time just, so okay. I can gather oh, no, someone what? to come and help me too. Okay, let me just... Yeah. The property has now been repossessed, okay? <laughs> the locks have been changed. Yeah. All right, sir. If you that's need a hat, some stuff to get you over for a couple of days, that's not a problem. And then what we can do is make an arrangement. You can come back and collect the rest of your stuff. It's not a problem. Uh, yes, but I just need to take uh, some of the things that I need right now. I yeah, that's not a problem uh, at all. Just, uh, will you please come? Yes, of course. The tenant seems to have accepted that the room he's been fighting to stay in... I don't know, man. This is a little sketchy. ...in is now no longer his. Okay, so I need to unplug all this. Yeah, know, that's... I'm going, within an hour, all of this will be out, yeah? Basically, yeah? Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm just waiting for someone that's going to get here. Yeah. Unplug and pack. Yes. We're happy with that. He's an IT, clearly. You can see, you know, all my things are just being gone from out on the streets. The only thing I can count with is friends, you know? And then probably just move into a friend's house at some point or um, uh, until I just stop, settle somewhere else, you know, find somewhere else, you know, the right property or the right place. You just can't find somewhere else to live, you know? It's, it's not that easy. It's not, but you've had it's just a room ample time. Twelve foot by eight foot, and that was his whole world. Whether it's a room, a flat, or a house, at the end of the day, if he if he had a tenancy agreement, it's still a tenancy agreement. So should he fall foul, then yeah, the courts decide that he's he can't be there, and that's it. You understand? No, I haven't got a great deal of sympathy for landlords either. Would you like to live like this? In a little, little rabbit hole? Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to live like this. Yeah, it's not going to work. 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 Yeah, Don't touch nothing, Paul and Steve. In there. Yes. Um, well done. OK, what you need to do is you need to empty your stuff out of this room. You can put it there and wait with it. When your van comes, lock it straight into your van. Yes. Actually, for every single piece of furniture that's in this place, including washing machine, you know, all the things of other rooms and stuff like that. But i just been forced to leave, you know, so that's what I have to do. Uh, yeah. So is your car... Oh, I ain't know that. I could feel it. Like, he, he didn't put all that time and effort. That's why you don't buy stuff for places that you don't own. <laughs> I'm not buying nothing if I don't own nothing, if I don't own the place. Hell, no. On its way. It should be on its way soon. No. It's just, um, um, it, this, this was very, um, um, sort of like, uh, very suddenly. Yeah, no, of course. Yeah. You're all done there, are you now? Goodbye. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> My so bad. if I turn the lights out and shut the door, that's the end of it. People come to London, supposedly golden streets. They think that this is where they're going to make it. And maybe they can't afford to live there. We do see it all the time. See you. Good luck. Thanks very much. Good luck, bro. I feel like I've seen that. Uh, the cost of repairing the property in Gold for the occupant of the land was 24. 24 thousand pounds that's cap 24 by a charity okay okay And then if you probably go to the government, they probably house you somewhere in Bumble that you don't want to be. That's an unfortunate circumstances, man. W special, though. It wasn't that bad. I thought it was going to be way worse than that. Tell her, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post. I'm gone.